Mm. It's um, a good apology to Yeah. Me. But I mean, Neil Fox, you're quite angry, aren't you? Because for you, this is about honesty, not about conservatism. Well, when you watch the uh, apology today, and it was a, a good apology, OK, and it did seem very humble and, uh, and heartfelt, except we've seen it before. And the problem is, uh, as uh, the big agendas, the big questions that politicians have to answer sometimes, people don't always agree with. Actually, what really irks people and gets up their nose is these small things when we all have to stay at home two hours after, mm. you know, they've issued... It was two hours after the, uh, they had announced that we can't actually go out apart from with one person outside mm. social distance, that they're having a party. And so for most of us, you just go, are you that stupid that you don't think we'll find out that all these people got sent emails? But then it's not that they're stupid... There's just an arrogance that they think, actually, we'll tell you to do one thing and we in our little world will do something else. And this has been going on for years in politics. And I do think they have to understand that in the world we live in now of multimedia, social media and every other form of media, people mm. find out this stuff. But and it can, gets up people. Why, why is this only coming out now? Are journalists in this country that bad? Are they so in with the establishment? Or is there some sort of agenda why this is now being released almost two years on. I think you're being much too cynical about the role of the press in this because there have Thanks, been there, there, yeah. have, there <laughs> have been large elements of the press who can't stand Boris. There have also been a lot of cheerleaders for yep. Boris. I mean, really against all the evidence. And as Neil was saying... Not in the broadcast media. Not, no. But they, but, but they but have been, they have been saying consistently the how Daily Mail popular... Daily he is. It's only now that his popularity is waning that they're changing their tune. But I don't think they've necessarily... We know that Paul Brand at ITV, who's had amazing uh, uh, series, series of scoops, and it's been fantastic for him. But I don't think really it's the media that's telling. I think what's happening is that with Boris, his popularity was always so much that everything was priced in, everyone always said. So we knew he had lots of affairs. We knew he had lots of children. We knew that he'd been in trouble with his employers, whether it was newspapers or And whatever. a trouble with and the we, truth. And, and, and trouble with the truth. And we forgave it because it was Boris. But also, I think one of the things that we didn't really think about is those lies didn't affect us. Yeah. Mm. They affected and then his they wives do. and they affected his employers and his employees. Yeah. They didn't affect us. Mm. This lie affects us us and it's making us really really angry and I think that's been a, a big shift and suddenly we're not willing to to forgive this and I disagree with Neil I don't think that apology was a decent apology I think it was quite well delivered mm. but actually it was a boyfriend mm. apology it was I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry if you think that brackets you're crazy well, well Amanda